Sean Fitzgerald from the dugout in Durban North. This is Trend News. Why does ancient art contain pictures of dinosaurs? Have a look at this. The articles from The Truth. Why does ancient art contain depictions of flying aircraft, helicopters, and dinosaurs? I really did the flying aircraft ones from Egypt. Now I'm going to talk about the dinosaurs. Yeah, posted below is a photograph. You see this? This is a dinosaur with this, I think it's called a Stegosaurus. Um, it'll tell you now. Post below is a photograph is an ancient engraving on a Buddhist temple in Cambodia known as, I can't pronounce the name, a Stegosaurus. According to the commonly accepted version of history, such an engraving should be absolutely impossible because dinosaurs died out millions of years ago and modern scientists are only starting to dig them up a couple, started to dig them up a couple of hundred years ago. And yet this engraving is there. So how do they know about it? Another unexpected place where we find ancient dinosaur art is on the ancient Inca stones that were discovered down in Peru. These stones were originally founded, found by the Spanish in 1535 and Spanish explorers sent some of these back to Spain in 1562. The art on many of these stones is extremely beautiful but what makes them extremely controversial is the fact that many of them appear to contain certain depictions of dinosaurs. Here's one example. There's a dinosaur there. How do they know about dinosaurs? We only started digging them up a few hundred years ago. And here is another example. Look at this photo. If you look closely there, you will see that, that you see what very much looks like a tri, tri, triceratops. Yeah, there's a triceratops there. I used to love dinosaurs as a kid. How did these people know about this? And this is where he says, once again, these, those promoting the commonly accepted version of history are at loss to explain this. Most commonly, they attempt to explain this phenomenon away as a hoax because the locals did, did start creating fake Inca stones in recent years once they discovered that tourists want, tourists want to buy them. But the Inca stones that are considered to be authentic con contain some remarkable details. In fact, much of the anatomical knowledge about dinosaurs depicted in these stones was only discovered by modern scientists just very recently. Of course, the Inca stones are just one of the incredible examples of ancient dinosaur art that have been discovered all over the world. For many, many more, there are many, many examples of this phenomenon. Anyone that that, that attempts to convince you that humans that, that humans that lived thousands of years ago were bumbling idiots that were lucky to build mud huts and cover their genitals with grass skirts is lying to you. The truth is that human history is incredibly complex. There are monolithic structures all over the planet that are still standing after thousands of years that remind us that great civilizations with amazing technologies once thrived. Interesting what he says here, and there's, there, there's actually evidence that, that modern humans are actually getting dumber. A Stanford University biology professor recently published a work in which he ex expressed his conclusion that humans have been getting dumber. Anyway, this is the end of the article. It's great. And it's very true there because I, I can tell you now, technology makes you dumber. TV makes you dumber. It stops you thinking. In the old days we used to read. Now we watch TV. We make TV, the movie, it thinks for you. We don't use our imaginations anymore. There's a tri tri triceratops. They didn't know about this then. We only started digging up these dinosaurs now. So they were portraying pictures of dinosaurs that were walking around during this time. It's impossible. Look there. And this one too. I mean a Buddhist temple here of a stegosaurus. This thing, this thing we only recently discovered now. How did they have this? How did they draw this and they know this animal? It must have been around at that time. Don't believe everything you read and don't believe everything you see. I can tell you now, history is very complex and we don't know anything about it just yet. There's lots of people out there that want to, yeah, they were skeptical of this, they don't want to, because that, because people believe what other people say they must believe. The history books tell you to believe this, don't. Use an inquiring mind, have a look around you. There's the evidence. It's pretty concrete and it's pretty clear. Uh, yeah, the evidence is pretty conclusive with us. I mean, nobody can explain this. I'd be interested in your comments on this. Sean Fitzgerald from the Dugout, Durban North. This is Trend News. Good day on you.